Okay guys, I did a video on Ficum Sync and uh, didn't do very good with my camera, so I'm gonna try to do better with this one. This is gonna be for uh, Cam and Crank Sync. Uh, pretty much the procedure is exact the same as for Ficum. Uh, just the only difference is the uh, equation is just a tad different for the Cam, cam and Crank. Anyhow, go to your device, to your main screen and torque. Hit your settings button, it's gonna bring this up. Hit settings, it's gonna bring this page up. Now what I didn't show in the last video very clear is you wanna scroll down here to manage extra pins and sensors. You wanna select that. That's gonna bring you up to this screen. You wanna come over here and hit your settings. And as you see right here, it says add custom PID. It's gonna add custom PID. Now then that's gonna bring you back to this page. Now you want to enter, enter your OBD2 PID name, basically is what, you did, what it is, which is 2209CD. Now we're going to do our long name, which is Kim Space Crank Sync. Now, for the short name, that's what's put on your gauges. You can put cam seat, you can put crank seat, you can put CNC seat, you can put whatever you want, as long as you remember what it is. I, myself, am going to put C and C sync. Now, next one, minimum value. Your minimum value needs to be 0, 0.0. Now your maximum, your maximum value is going to be 1.0. You don't have to worry about a scale factor. You don't have to worry about a unit type. Let me pull that back down out of the way. Oops. Do, do, mainly you just need to come down here to equation. And the equation for this is going to be our little... Squiggly, I don't know what they call this particularly. You don't need that symbol, but they capital A. Then you're gonna need this one right here. And then a one. Oops. Then you're gonna enter this little right there. That's your that's your equation. Now your OBD header, very important that you have it correct also is 7 e o now we will crawl down here oh just like in the last one you'll see i entered the header name incorrectly and it prompted me for it i'm gonna hit okay again just so you can kind of see so instead of an o that should be a zero up there so i'm going to correct that then i'm going to scroll down here and hit okay and it's saved. Basically, all you have to do is go to your page where your gauges are and hold down and add your, uh, add your PID there or for your gauge. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to my videos.